No. You shall see me as I am. Almost. Almost. Why not quite? Who knows? It is possible. We shall see. What on earth is that? Your dinner. Dinner? What in milk and dried up cheese? Where's that veal paprika? The butcher had no real things with her <sighs> More whining excuses. Get it out of here before I'm sick. What a way to live. Well, seems I shall have to go elsewhere for my dinner. Will you give me the pleasure of taking you? Why, yes. In fact, I rather hoped you'd ask me. Can I have half an hour to get dressed? Nothing could be better, for in that half hour, I too have most important business. May one ask what? I have to remove the pomade. Hi, little. Rushka! Hello, little one. Hello. Rushka. Paul. Every officer in the room. You're not enjoying your evening? Oh, yes, but we're watched by too many eyes. What's wrong with that? Well, I look forward to this first time alone with you. I thought it might be, like you, rather unexpected. Unexpected? Mm -hmm. Away from my own country, I'm a rather lonely man. You're a very beautiful woman. I grabbed it this evening, like, uh, like a drowning man who needs help. Help? Every lonely man needs a woman's help. I hoped I might be myself with you. Instead, I dance round like a performing animal, watched by a grinning audience. This evening is not yet over. Outside it is moonlight and quiet. Let me take you. Hmm? Take me back to our table. Sorry. Why? I feel in the mood for talk, for real talk, an exchange of confidences, of hopes and fears. This helps. But you've done a lot of talking. You've told me the life story of Jan Tartu. What do you think of it? Shall I tell you the truth? Please. I don't know what to think. It was very highly colored, but men will do desperate things out of love for their country. Or for their faith in the new order. Why, yes, of course. Or for their love of freedom. You know, Captain Tartu, without the pomade, there is something very different about you. Away from Fogel and the Commandant, I would say the same about you. My family have lost everything and own much. I want to get it back. That's why I risk my reputation with our German visitors. You risked something of your reputation as a good Nazi in your little plot with Pavla. What? Hmm. There was a whole pot full of veal paprika in the kitchen, and you knew it. And Pavla knew you knew it. I'm not such a fool as... as Captain Sartoo must sometimes appear. You may take me into the moonlight. Pavla told you everything? Everything she knew. Who are you? Not yet. You know Peter Vralek, the shoemaker? There are many shoemakers. He was my only contact. You know, you're taking a big chance on me. I'm taking a chance on what's behind your eyes. Look at me. Will you do the same with me? My country is being tortured to death. If I were to do anything to increase that suffering... I'm here to help. You must believe that. You want me to put you in touch with the underground? As soon as possible. Tomorrow when you return from the work. Well, you 
you were right about this evening. Unexpected. I believe in you. You give me new hope and courage. It's the courage of people like you who make it all worthwhile. Something to hang on to in this mad world. Life, laughter, and love. They'll come back. If we do hang on. They'll come back. The moon and moonlight. That doesn't change. It's not the only thing that hasn't. I sat under that same moon at home. Home? In my mother's garden. Wild roses in the hedge. The river at our feet. And life ahead to do what we liked with. <sighs> Queer to be talking to you like this in this... this little circle of peace. Couldn't we pretend in this little circle? for a little while. There's no war. We're free again. Our lives are our own to do what we like with. Yes. Let's pretend. Oh, you know that fellow Tartu? Remember him? Do I? Hmm. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, he and I have one thing in common. We both think you're a very beautiful. I'm glad. No, I don't very much care what Tartu thinks. Well, what he'd do if he were here. Tartu? Mm hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, expect he'd do some simple little thing. No, Captain Tartu. Things aren't quite as easy as that. Marushka, you... Oh, Otto, I'm glad you've come. Good evening, Inspector. What are you saying? Has this fellow been... No, no, Otto, nothing really. Those fools at the house sent me up a dinner which was utterly uneatable, so I had to come out. I pressed our Romanian gallant here into service, and the result was partly my fault, partly the champagne. Oh, lady, I'm desolate. I'd hoped it was my fault. Really, Captain, you flatter yourself. Otto, let's find a table inside. I gave you some pamphlets. Go and read them. <laughs> Darling, why couldn't you have been around when I was tired, hungry, and wanted me to get back sooner. That fool Otto turned up. I shouldn't have done what I did today. It put all of you in danger. No, darling. It's been over three months since that beast ordered Carl and the others to be executed. I shouldn't have let him live that long. I know, darling. But Carl got his revenge today because I had Carl's own revolver. And he fell right in the gutter. Right on his face in the filth. members in the morning. I'm so glad. I knew I could trust him the moment I saw him. Strange, isn't it? There's something about him. Yes. Something about him. He's so strong and honest. Gentle at the same time. Hanushka. Never heard you talk about a man like that before. What happened? You're falling in love. Am I? Yes, I think I am. <laughs> 